crazy narrow. Well, I remember very much when I came up with my parents for the first time. 100 steps. Walking up the, the stairs. On the fifth floor, my mother, she was like, oh my God, Christian, what did you do? We're still not there yet. That's it. And uh, then we entered the apartment and it looked completely different. It was like really dark. There was an old mattress and my mother, she was just, she was like, oh my God, this is crazy, Christian. What are you gonna do with this? This is my space. It only has 24 square meters. It's actually something you come in and you don't realize what's actually all hidden in the wall. It's full of surprise. My inspiration, boats. I had a look in a lot of boat magazines and yeah, I got inspired by the fold-out elements and, and as well the practical hidden away things. I thought I can definitely live in something like this because at the end of the day, what do you need for a living? You need a nice comfortable mattress and, and nice clean sheets and uh, running water, shower and a stove to cook something. That's actually what you need. You don't need so much more stuff. When I open up the kitchen, it comes up automatically, without any help. For me, it was definitely important to have a proper functioning kitchen with the right size of a fridge, the right size of a freezer, because a small apartment doesn't mean I have to have like a, a one square meter cube fridge. No, it has to be comfortable. And uh, there is enough space for plates as well, for cooking. And up here, there's a microwave oven. It has got a, even a dishwasher, which is, again, practical. And this is really important as well to have like your cornflakes in there, your rice, your noodles. That's the kitchen. From there on, it starts the clothing area and the sports area, and which is, again, important to have enough space for all your stuff and a nice mirror where you can watch full body. Not so good today. <laughs> there is a lot of space. It's enough space for your tennis racket, for rollerblades. I didn't want to make a, a typical bathroom. The shower is like a glass cube. I wanted to have the bathroom being a part of the space. There's like all the products as well. It's not really a bathroom. It's it's like a glass cube and a, a cube box, a sink. And there, you have all the products in here as well. Usually I have so many more products. The only hidden spot is important, the toilet. It's, co it's cozy toilet, it's the, right, it's the right space. You have enough space and there, there you can pull out the magazines from here, which is really nice. I'm not really someone really being a homey person. But you know what, we just make a little salad. When I bought it, I knew I'm, I was a single person. I, I had a great lifestyle, lots of traveling and maybe sometimes uh, getting some visitors in. And the kitchen, it's really nice to cook as well. You can pull down the table and turn the whole thing into a big kitchen, you know. Get the support and action. It's kind of heavy, so you have to Hold it on. Look, you can actually do push-ups, biceps, triceps. <laughs> Putting it down. It's like Legos for adults. You have to build everything you want, you know? So you want the table, you build it. You want the bed, you build it. You pull it out. It is an active apartment, yeah. I like it that way, definitely. I'm a very active person, so I just love to change things by just clicking and doing something and then suddenly you have a different appearance. I like that. <laughs> Action. People ask me, why can you eat so much sweets and you're not getting fat? And I'm like, I just live in an Action apartment. It's like nonstop moving things and burning fat, you know? That's why I'm like this, you know? The bed goes down the balcony. When I 
tell people my bed is under the balcony. They cannot really imagine how can a bed be under a balcony. I really think this element is genius. Didn't understand in the beginning, I was like, where well, you can sit there, it's a sofa, but it's at the same time, it's like you pull down the table. Then I realized, oh my God, it's a bench, and this is actually where I can put my, my towels in. Dirty clothes. At the same time, it's only the stair. So I have to make the sofa here. Action. You can actually make a bigger sofa as well. Just pull it out, not the whole bed. Just pull it out like this. And then you prepare your sofa. A little lounge. Da, da, da. What's the most you've had in your apartment? Maximum, mm, I don't know. Maybe I had like 40 people here and there, up on the roof, hanging out on the stairs. It was possible. Now we're preparing lunch, which means, again, action. Make a little sofa to be comfortable there. Use the terrace chair for the thing over there. One, two, lunch table. So the stairs move from that side to this side. G.I. Joe's flat. G.I. <laughs> so Christian, what was your inspiration of this flat? My inspiration? Mm -hmm. From growing up next to a lake with all the boats, you know, seeing boats all the time. And so I think I was inspired by small boats because the fold up thing, mm -hmm. you can see that in boats as well. Some things are inspired by Japan, mm. Japanese elements. Zen, it, has, it had to be a Zen apartment, so. When I'm sick of having all the dirty stuff around, so I just close it down and the kitchen is gone. And then I can do whatever <laughs> I want to do in my space. Well, a big advantage of a small space is that you have everything on reach. You know, if you lay in bed and you're just thirsty, you can open up the fridge from the bed, open up the fridge like this, and grab whatever you want to grab. You don't even have to walk there. If you want to watch some movie, you just turn the television to the bed. Close it down. So I have the night tables here. <laughs> so comfortable. <laughs> I always liked the, the nesting idea. I think it was when I was small. We had this huge sofa and I was just using one part of the sofa, pulled all my pillows together and I made my little nest and I felt really comfortable. And somehow this apartment reminds me on this concept as well. When the bed's out, suddenly it's like in one minute the apartment is full and so somehow you don't even know where to step anymore and this is the point where it gets annoying. If you have a small space, you're forced actually to not be chaotic because I want to leave the apartment, everything tucked away, it's easy actually to hide away things. When I come back, I just come home and it's nice and organized. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzle. <laughs> okay, going down is so much faster. Mm -hmm.